Welcome back to Slide Bites. Uh, if you're not familiar with this channel, this is a budget guitar and gear review channel. Uh, all the equipment you see on this channel is mine. Uh, no one's provided me equipment unless it's a gift from family and friends, that sort of thing. So anyway, uh, last week uh, we took a look at K-Line uh, Ghost Rain Reverb Delay Pedal. This week I want to take a look at another wonderful K-Line pedal you just heard demoed back and forth with bass tones and that pedal activated second on each of the clean and high gain. We're going to take a look at the K-Line Enchanted Tone Highly Prized Overdrive with a mouthful of a title that is. Alright, let's take a look at this beautiful pedal over here. By the way, this is being recorded the day after um, and it's going to be uploaded the week after. But for all you veterans out there who served, thank you so much. Appreciate you. So we're going to take a look at this beautiful K-Line, highly prized overdrive. Let me turn on the light on this so you can see this beautiful purple metallic casing on this thing. Gorgeous! Look at that thing. Just a beautiful pedal. You've got three controls, volume, gain, and filter. It is run off of a 9-volt power supply, not a battery-operated pedal, and it um, is a metal casing. And those knobs are pretty tight, they don't move very like easily. You're not going to just bump them. So when we were first doing this, uh, at the beginning, I had the gain... Um, fairly high up and the filter was kind of in the middle um, and then I bumped this this is how I use the pedal these settings right here this is how when I'm using high gain and in general this is the settings or these these setting I kind of just set forget and leave it like this for both clean and high gain so what is this pedal what does it do why is it called a highly prized in, in overdrive uh, enchanted tone because this is it's trying to at least emulate that dumble vibe um, you know, that, that is a very classic amplifier, it, you know, used on a lot of really cool tracks, a lot of really great guitars to use them. Use those amplifiers, but they're very rare. They're extremely expensive, they're hard to find, and, you know, it's one of those things that's just, it, it is a very prized item. It's kind of like, you know, how the Klon is uh, for overdrive pedals, well that's kind of how the Dumble is for amplifiers. And I think it does pretty well, from what I know. I've obviously never owned or used a Dumble, but I've heard them in uh, in different songs, different famous musicians who have used them. I've heard their music, and you probably know which musicians and which songs I'm talking about. So, let's go ahead and hear it. Uh, so, it, this thing seems to be very responsive to sync coils and uh, humbuckers, hence why I'm using a HSS guitar. This is the Fender Stratocaster HSS. It's a player strat made in Mexico in double drop B, my favorite tuning, and we are running through my Black Star HC Club 40 Mark II. We are running with no other effects and no other uh, anything on just this. Okay, so well, actually, let's shut this off for a second. Let's go ahead and let you hear my clean tone, and we'll set these settings back to the middle. The filter control is really cool on this thing. So the filter is actually kind of just adding and taking away bass and mids. Um, it's really neat. It's it's kind of like I use it kind of like a tone control, but it's it's doing a lot more than what I'm used to a tone control doing. It's not just, you know, a lot of tone controls feel like just suck out some of the bass or treble. This is adding or it's just shifting things in a different way. So let's go ahead and just hear it some. So we're on the, let's go to the middle position. Uh, this is on this guitar, that's a single coil pickup. So let's go ahead and we're on the clean channel and let's go ahead, let's shut this off. Let's hear this real quick. Thank you. 
to the tone. Um, let's go ahead and crank that up, turn this to about middle. about it adding just a, it's just thickening up the sound a lot and it adds these frequencies and overtones uh let's go ahead and just let's just uh do this number here and let's go we're on the bridge pickup now let's go ahead and just play some some licks here <laughs> super gainy and honestly so let's leave that on this gain is max but this is what happens when i pick softly So we, we've seen it with, with rolling that off. Let's go ahead and put it through some heavy distortion here. Let's see, let you hear what my bass heavy sound is. Single note, real quick. Out. With. Do a little lead line on the neck. <laughs> It's just adding a lot of different tones and frequencies. So let's uh, let's try it like this. Let's just do put it everything in the middle. That was the middle position on this guitar.
is just really neat. It adds these really cool... It adds these really cool frequencies. It's just... really cool frequencies. So whereas a lot of overdrives, you know, are na a little nasally and they're really just, they're, they're changing things up a bit. This is just leaving your under, the undertone of whatever you have set pretty well unchanged. It's just adding something. And that's what I really like. It's not taking anything away. It just adds. And all this is doing, this filter control, is really just affecting what this pedal itself sounds like. It's not really affecting the undertone underneath. Uh, so all the core sound that you have is still there. You're just embellishing it with this, and that's what I really like. It's very transparent. It really lets your tone set, uh, shine through without messing with anything too much on your tone and changing anything. You can crank this gain on there and still play soft and get nice, clean, shimmery tones out of it, or you can just leave it, you know, middle and just use it as a you know, little bit of a boost or whatever you want to do. This thing can do it. And I really, really, really like it. I think it sounds good. It's just adding a cool set of frequencies and tones to a bass tone that you have. And I really like it. This thing's adding something else in there, and I just really like it. It's very different. It is very similar to blending two amps together as far as tone-wise, and you're getting these really cool overlaid signals that are just and frequencies and tones that are just hard to get any other way. I'm gonna give this a five out of five. I highly recommend it. I think it's a great pedal. The again the knobs don't move just you know just by brushing against them or anything. They're pretty solid. This is all metal, nine volt power supply powered. I that's fine by me. I hate batteries, so that's fine. It, the graphics are great. It's well made. Uh, I have no issues with this thing. I really hope it lasts long haul. I bought this off of Amazon for around forty dollars. And I think you can only buy these off of Amazon, as far as I know. And I didn't even know anything about it. I just saw it, thought the graphic looked cool, and told me, like, hey, I kind of like the way this looks. And she ended up ordering it for me. I had no idea. So this thing is great. I really do want to recommend it. I'm super happy it's on my board. It's For this rig, I don't want to change very much. Hence why the Bad Monkey is back with the Ultra Metal and the Acoustic Lead Series G120. That rig needs it. It sounds good over there. It, that's, but for this rig, I like my bass tone, so anything I'm doing needs to add something different. It doesn't need to change or tighten too much or ch do you know too much different to my bass tone. I just need it for lead lines just a little bit tighter, and I, I want to add something, some flavor in there. But guys, that's all I can really say about it. It's just a great pedal. I highly recommend it. If you get a chance to pick it up again, around 40 bucks on Amazon, it's a great thing. I don't think you'd regret it. I think it's, it's a really fun pedal to have and play. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm going to wrap it up there. Um, if you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe. That goes a long way if you feel like I've earned it. That goes a long way to uh, helping this little channel grow. Uh, also, check me out on Facebook, X, TikTok, YouTube community page, SoundCloud. I'm forgetting. I'm on every platform, pretty much. I'm there. You'll find Slide Bites. Just look me up, Slide Bites. On oh, TikTok, I'm Slide Bites Guitar. Um, check me out. I'm all over the place. Original music, you know, guitar content everywhere. Sometimes Gundam. If you like Gundam, if you're on Instagram, you can see that too. Guys, I appreciate all of you. You mean the world to me. I, I, we were coming on Thanksgiving, and I'm just reminded how blessed I am to have all of this, this really cool gear and people that are actually willing to watch this stuff. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you guys later. Keep shredding, partners. Bye.